Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my August favorites. I cannot believe it's already like on the downhill towards 2018. I don't want summer to leave because I'm not a winter fan, but I have to say that fall has to be probably one of my favorite seasons. So I am excited for the fall months. I love October, November, December. It's January through April in Virginia that I don't love. Um, but I'm excited to share with you some new things this month. There are probably some items in my favorites that you've seen all over my Instagram. I think there are at least a few items that I have not really shared on any platform yet, so we'll be coming to you first, um, and this also kind of serves as a sneak peek of my skincare routine because there are some really great things in here that are part of my skincare routine. So I hope that you'll enjoy this video and if you want to know what I have been loving for the month of August then just keep on watching. So I always like to start out with beauty and the first product is actually a lip balm. So I was contacted by this company and they wanted to send me this product but I always, I just want to put this out there, I always say that if something is sponsored or paid or advertisement, you will know that for sure. It will be made clear to you. And then if not, um, I did receive this product to review, but I don't have to feature it. I'm not being paid to make this video or anything like that. So I just wanted you to know that before I share that with you. Um, I have no obligation to share this in my favorites. So I just actually really like it. Um, the packaging is definitely very... Kind of luxurious looking um and this is the emily corden um lip balm or it's just a balm of oh it's a lip pot is what it's called but this is in the shade number one lisa which is the rose champagne so it is a beautiful pink color it smells really good and i have to tell you that i am a long time user of the lemur or Le Mer lip balm and I love it so much and this definitely rivals that for sure. Um, you can put this on your cuticles and other areas of your body. I tend to find it a little bit too greasy for my cuticles but for my lips it is perfect. Um, it doesn't give a ton of color but I have to say that it does give like a little pinky kind of tone to my lips. So this is like your bubble gum pink shade. So for all of you girls like me that love pink um, I definitely really recommend this. It's a really great product. I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, like I said, I put lip balm on every morning, every night, and then when I'm not wearing lipstick, I'll just put it on. Um, and I have found myself kind of like putting this one on before my Le Mer, um, lip balm. The second beauty product is a new foundation. You would have seen this in my last makeup tutorial. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below because my next favorite is also featured in that. So this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And this used to be like probably the hottest item on YouTube, I have to say. Like a few years ago, everyone who was anyone used NARS Sheer, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And I never purchased it because I have oily skin. Everyone said it doesn't work for oily skin. And I have to say, they're kind of right. It does tend to like melt off my face. But if I keep powdering under control, um, I'm able to kind of keep the oil at bay, but if you have normal to dry skin, I would say you will love this foundation. If you have oily skin, I'd say test it out. Like I said, I have pretty oily skin and I love it. It probably doesn't um, last as long as other foundations, definitely not, but I definitely think it gives you a really pretty healthy glow. Obviously, that's probably why they call it Nars Sheer Glow. Um, but I really love this product, and it's kind of like a new favorite found. Next up, I wanted to talk really quickly about this eye combination. So if you haven't seen my last updated makeup routine, I'll link it down below. I also used that Nars foundation in that video, but this eye look has been my go-to for the past few weeks, definitely the past month. Um, I just love it and I think it's really going to carry me into the fall. I think it's showing up a little lighter on here than what it is. It definitely has like a little bit more brown in the crease um, than what's showing up on camera. But I really love this. It's so easy. Only a few products and um, I'll just link that tutorial down below. I'm not going to feature all those products because if you watched last month's favorites then you've already heard about them. <laughs> but if you're new then just check out that video and you will get the whole scoop. So on to skincare. I have two skincare favorites and these are not in my everyday routine. These are more like treatments. So one is a scrub and one is a mask. So this is the Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator and I love this because, oh goodness, it's kind of got like some stuff coming out the side. I'm not going to open it because stuff is going everywhere, but it does have 
like really fine crystals, um, well, like really fine little crystals that exfoliate your skin. So it's not really harsh. It does do a great job of kind of exfoliating and removing all the dead skin. My skin feels so incredibly smooth and soft after I use this. I use it about once a week. Every sometimes when I'm busy, I don't use it once a week. I'll use it once every two weeks or whenever I have time. Um, I don't make a ton of time for treating my skin even though I should because I see such amazing results when I do, but I definitely would recommend if you have sensitive skin or you don't like harsh exfoliators, I hate exfoliating, um, but every time I get a facial, they're like, you need to be exfoliating more. So I have been trying to exfoliate, um, and I definitely would recommend this product for that. The next skincare item in my lineup is this Rosemary Purifying Mask, and I hope I can link this down below. I'm going to be honest, I haven't looked it up. I purchased this when we were staying at the Breakers in Palm Beach, when we went to Palm Beach. Oh, I miss Palm Beach so much. Um, it was such a great stay, but I had an amazing massage and facial at their spa, and this was one of my favorite products from the whole facial, and it's just a clay mask, and um, it's really good. I love it because I feel like it draws out all of the impurities, but it also soothes my skin, so I first do this the microderm um, scrub and then I apply this and I love it so much. It feels so good. I really, these two products has, have really helped me start kind of treating my skin more because I think that I enjoy them and I can see results with them, which in the past I've never really seen positive results from <laughs> doing those things to my skin. I always just broke out like crazy, which I do think you'll tend to get like a few bumps here and there because Obviously, you're kind of cleaning out your skin, which I do see with this, but I don't see like massive breakouts. It's crazy. So I'll get like a spot here or there that I feel like it's probably been like drawn out, um, but I don't see like massive breakouts. So I love that because I see results, but it doesn't destroy my skin. <laughs> okay, lastly, I have two other makeup favorites. I feel like this is the very like makeup skincare heavy favorites, um, but this nail polish, I've been getting so many questions about um, my nail polish and this is a gel polish. It is by the brand DND &D, or I'm not sure what the brand name is but those are the initials and it's the color 601 and I will leave a link to it down below because I believe you can purchase it on Amazon. It comes in like a set of a regular polish and a gel polish but I really think this is like a really pretty like a pink color that just looks really great and I've gotten so many compliments and so many questions on it so you'll find that in the description bar. As far as fashion goes I've kind of Continued with some of the same items, but I also have two favorites, which I'm not quite sure if I've mentioned in last month's favorites or videos. My July favorites went up in like the middle of August, so it's been like two weeks since I put that up. Um, but the first of which is a jumpsuit from Club Monaco. So it's kind of hard to see. I'll insert a full picture of this jumpsuit. So it does have a tie with it, but I just had it dry cleaned and I didn't want to send that because I was afraid that would get lost. It's a really pretty kind of like dusty navy color and it's so flattering. I just talked about this in my last video, um, like five tips for being more confident. And this is definitely an outfit that I put on when I need to feel confident and powerful and just kind of strut my stuff. So um, I really would recommend you trying this jumpsuit if you've always wanted one. I've never found one that works for me, that fits right, that looks good, anything. I've never had a romper or a jumpsuit. Well, I did have one other, but one, one other. Um, so if you love jumpsuits, definitely check it out. If you're on the fence, definitely check it out. And if you love Club, Club Monaco, then yeah, definitely check it out because this one is a winner. I could talk about it all day, but I'm going to try to keep it short because I've already talked about it probably too much. So if you didn't already know that I love Club Monaco, you'll definitely know after this video. But this top it has been an all-time favorite. I'll also insert a picture, but check out these sleeves. They're so fluttery and ruffly, but still very simple. It is a pretty white linen material, but I think that this will carry well into fall. It'll look so cute with um, like black distressed denim or like a navy jacket or something. Um, I seriously love it so much and it's just been really cute. I am such a sucker for wearing a t-shirt as you can tell in this video, my last video. Um, I love a good t-shirt and I'll link the t-shirt down below too because it's from Club Monaco but I need to branch out and start finding other cute tops and I think that this one is just a really great way to kind of get a cute top without being like kind of being similar to a t-shirt but also just being really, really fun and pretty. 
Okay, now we're on to the lifestyle portion, and I have to say, I don't think I have that many lifestyle favorites. The first one, which could be the only one, is this book, and it is called You Are a Badass, and I think this is kind of where my... I don't know. I love reading self-help books. I have to say, like, I don't know why, but I just love reading them so much. And this one has to be, by far, one of my favorite ones. I am almost the entire way through, and it has just really inspired me to just really believe in myself and kind of help share this and my knowledge and my insecurities with other people. So, if, like I said, if you see my last video, then you would understand that. But I hope that um, you'll check out that video if you haven't, and I hope that I can share more things um, that I have learned from this book and just that this book has made me realize about myself and about my life and my business um, in the future. So definitely check this out if you are in need of a little inspiration or kind of like just a kick in the butt to get you going. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I've already talked for so long. I think that that is just about it. I can't really think of anything new um, in my lifestyle kind of section that I've been loving too much that I haven't already mentioned repeatedly other places. Um, I think that that will wrap us up for my August favorites. So please let me know what your favorites were for the month of August in a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you watch my videos and follow along with my blog and my Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and all the other things that I'm always talking about. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I will know to make more and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.